with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. TV 10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live recorded on the 23rd of March, 2021. Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff's Department and Sheriff Nate Harmon for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature an investigation into trespassing, a residential alarm check, and a domestic dispute involving a juvenile. To all of our fans in South Korea, we would like to say Gamsi Hamnida. Berkeley any Cedar County unit available for a welfare check. Male unconscious in a vehicle blocking the roadway. 14, 600 block, Apple Harvest Drive. Seven, what was the apartment number? Hello, sir. How are you doing today? I don't know. Come on yeah. Is it alright if he comes in? Come on okay. in. I appreciate it. Doing? doing all right, sir. How are you? I don't know. All right, what's going on today? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I, tell you, I was, I left here, and and I, I seen that my buddy and I, he he came up here and helped me. I had a surround sound here. I just hooked it up, and uh, it's back behind there. And we just hooked. I went and bought the surround sound. I had a problem with TV, and I saw I went and bought a surround sound, and we hooked it all up and got it in the TV, and it was working fine. And I went to bed that night, and I turned it off, and everything was working fine. So I got up next morning and turned it back on. So me and my buddy went fishing, and we was gone the whole day. Okay. And my car was gone, see? And this guy down here, every time I was there, he, 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 like, he, uh, knowed when I, uh, went fishing. Okay. And he did this before, and they, and they tried to cover it up. Who's this guy? Works at this place. Works here. Okay, do you know his name? Not right offhand, I don't. Uh, I suppose to my, I don't, I can't, I can't remember stuff like that real good. Okay. Anymore. But uh, anyway, uh, but, so they covered it up before. Okay. And so I, I, I couldn't do much to, about it. So. This time, I said, well, I'll set a camera up. If he ever does this again, I'm going to catch him. Gotcha. Because they ain't allowed to do this. As I got a thing that says they have to write up a note to give you time. Mm -hmm. if it, unless it's an emergency. If it's an emergency, they better put a thing on my door that he comes in here. Yeah. They didn't do that. Okay. No, there was nothing on my door. There was nothing there and everything. So, uh so I looked through the, I have a camera, right there's a camera, and it's on right now. Okay. But, and it, it, if anybody was through here, you could see it, and, and it would take a picture of them. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and I, so I told my buddy, and here I got up at my, so I kept home that night, I don't want to turn my TV on, I couldn't get no sound. The sound wasn't on, I couldn't get it on. Okay. And no way I couldn't get it on. So I had to go back in my TV, 
and, and get my sound back on because the surround sound wouldn't work. Okay. And my buddy helped me hook it up, and I don't know what he, how he did or whatever, but anyway, I had to get back in. I, I was all, oh, I was furious. I tell you what, I could get my TV on. I got you, yeah. And, you know? Yeah, I you understand. You makes you mad. I got you. Well, Harold, he was in here playing my TV and trying to get my TV on. He couldn't get it on. I don't know what he did to it. When, when did this happen? I'm going to talk to CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Not this past this. Friday, Friday before last. I know this. What, what, I got the dates. Do you have the dates? Yeah. Can I get that off you? Look, I don't have it written down, but I know when it was. Okay, so Friday before last. Yeah. That's when I went fishing that day. Okay. I was looking on the counter here. I was telling that one lady. I know what it was. Okay. And, uh, and no doubt in my mind. And uh, so... Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so I, I was here. I was gonna call you that day. That day. Well, here, what happened to me? Uh, here, uh, I ended up going to the hospital that day. Here, I, my doctor called me. I had a call that that morning. My doctor and I were supposed to talk to each other. Well, when she talked to me. She said, "No, you're going to the hospital." Okay. So I had to go get dressed. I had to go to the hospital. I, got I couldn't call you. I got you. So I was in the hospital. Gotcha. So did you get a picture of this guy? Yes, I, I got a picture. Can I see it? I, well, what I did, I, here I was trying to, well, I was, I was going through this trying to get it out here again, but I took a picture off of that okay. on my camera here. Okay. So, so I had to have it, so I didn't have to go through this thing again. Here. This is a new camera. Here it is. Right there it is. See? Sick here. See? See his arm? Yeah. That's all I got of him. See the big tattoo? Here, take camera. Oops, sorry. That's okay. See him standing right there. The, pit, the camera is right there. See that? See over there? See how that is? That's unreal. It don't, I wish it would show his face. Oh, I get dry now. You have your ID on you, sir? Huh? You have your ID on you, driver's license? Yes, sir. I don't, you know, that's pretty bad. A man like me, I don't do nothing wrong. And then somebody does this to me. I gotcha. Um, did you get any pictures of his face? That's it, dear. Okay. That's what I, I went through the whole thing. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I, I wish I did. Uh, you want to take it out or not? So you're saying it was Friday before last? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because see, I, uh, I, right here's what had happened. So the 12th? Yeah, that's the day I talked to my doctor that day. That's the day I talked to my doctor. And that's when I had to go, that's, 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 yeah, that's, yeah, and that's when I, I had to go in, and I had to go into, that's the day I had to go in the hospital. Okay. I went in, yeah. Okay. Have you noticed anything missing, or is it just that your teeth? You know, I try to go around and look for stuff, but you know, I, I can't find anything missing. Okay. But that ain't the question, you know? No, no. I, I just want to make sure there's not anything additional. I, I, yeah, he, I, I, you, you're not wrong. He can't be in here. Uh, I, I can't it. find nothing missing. I, I mean, I got so many things, you know. Yeah. And, and and you could be missing something, you know, and not know it. Have you uh, checked your medications? Yeah, I checked it. Uh, what I, what I did try to, uh, uh, I didn't. I don't, see, I tried to hide them mm -hmm. because there's many dopes around here, and I hide them in the back and up and so nobody could see them because okay. I do have a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't, I know, I don't think I had none of them going. Okay. Uh, um, and then you're saying that they weren't supposed to be in here for regularly, any regularly oh, scheduled no, maintenance no, or anything like that? No, no, no way. Okay. No, right. it's just like being in your house. I got you. If somebody found your kid got in your house, well, they ain't supposed to be there, are they? No. I got you. Same thing. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that there, oh, wasn't, no. there wasn't anything else to it, okay? All right, I wrote down my name here on this card for you. The reason why I'm giving that, that to you. That man should be arrested and taken away. Well, i got to figure out who it is first, but I'll try. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll that ain't hard to find out. Yeah, I saw that. Um, so I gave you my name. The reason why I gave you that is if you notice anything missing that you think might have oh. been stolen by him. Well, you, if I did, oh. You, you can give me a call, so that way I can add it to the report for you. Well, I have, okay. I, have, I have guns back here, and I have guns 
in, in, in a safe back here. Mm -hmm. And then I have one. I had one gun laying out. Of course, you didn't see it. I mean, it was in a gun case, but uh, it wasn't taken or anything like that. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things. Take, yeah. you, see, you could say uh, is uh, I have tools in that there uh, at the uh, door there and food. I mean, and stuff or whatever. But I can't see nothing taken. But that ain't the situation. I understand. I got gotcha. you. I mean, he just can't go and come in a man's house. I agree. What he what he messed up my t thing. That there pissed me off more than anything. Good. Now I gotta redo that. I ain't doing nothing till I get that man. Oh, that man don't he don't need to be around here like that. I agree. Hey, that's the twice he did that. They didn't they didn't do nothing about him the first time. Well, I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Yeah. This is this is crap. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm going to uh, head up, talk to the people at the office, see if we can't figure out who this guy is. Okay? That girl will say, oh, I don't know. She'll, she'll, yeah. she'll try to cover his ass up. And she'll try to write something up, too. No. I got you. Make sure she don't write something up. I, I got you. I won't. Make we sure just got to figure out who he is. All right? Um, she'll say, oh, I got something written up. He wrote something up and all this crap. Yeah, yeah, I got it messed up the other night. But... but I don't know what happened. I had to reboot the phone. I, I was so messed up the other night, and my buddy, he got it straight out for me. Gotcha. Because <laughs> between the hospital and me coming home and seeing this and all that, and, and this is about my, my... Don't get old, fella. I got gotcha. you. I'll try not to. I'll <laughs> yeah. do my best. Uh, I, I hurt my back and stuff, and, uh, uh, and, and I was on pain pills there for about five years, and I still say that messed up my... But thinking, gotcha. I know it did. And, okay. But I'm still, whatever. But uh, I gotcha. All right. Well, we're I don't get need to any it. more. I don't need any more headaches. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I don't bother nobody, and tell them to leave me alone. I got gotcha. you. That's like cool. I told my son. I said, "Man, this is crap." I got gotcha. you. Well, we are. Uh, we're gonna go see if we can't figure out who this guy is. Okay. All right. See, All right. If you have any questions, just give me a call hey, on that number there. Okay. It ain't gonna be hard to find him. Yeah, well, I got to find him. So. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Well, I think he's on this place. Okay, that'll work. Three o'clock, they leave here. Is that right? Yeah, so if you're not in that place right down there, you should be able to see him down here. Okay, so thank that's you. That's him. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good. The 27 information was there something else. Is 24,000 at least. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I have a question for you. Yes. Um, we are getting an accusation from one of your tenants about a maintenance person trespassing. Okay. Do you have any maintenance people here today currently? Is it maintenance? Maintenance. Uh, Gary's here. Which, which apartment is that? Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to look. Is he here? Gary, yes, he's here. Let me call him. Okay. Hey, Gary. Could you come to the office, please? Do you know, uh, is any of your maintenance guys that has a big cross right. tattoo? On his forearm. We only have one maintenance right now. He has tattoo, but I don't know exactly which one he is. Okay, is that Gary? Yeah. Okay, so do you have anyone else? Any other maintenance no. people? No. Okay. We only have one at this moment. Okay. Like today or at all? At all. Oh, okay. We used to have two, the old one is gone. Okay. Yeah. Um when did he uh when did he leave fire to get quit or whatever? The other person haven't been here in a few months. Oh, he went okay. out in medical leave and never came back. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. 
And then, uh, is that Gary there in the gray? Yes, the one that's coming up here. Okay. All right, we'll swing out and talk to him quick. All right. Okay, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Oof. Sir, are you making this guy around here? Alright. Okay. Um, you uh, have any tattoos on your arms? Uh -uh. Okay. Do you have uh, a maintenance guy that works for you that has a big cross on a forearm with wings beside it? No, no, he wanted to work with me. He was black. Okay. Does anybody else have keys to an apartment? Okay, because what, what I'm working with is if somebody tries to trespass in one of these apartments, they got them on camera. I'm trying to figure out who it was. The tenant thinks it's a maintenance guy, but I don't think it's going to be you because you ain't got the tattoo. Mm, and I'm the only one here. <laughs> the other guy hasn't been here since uh, May 6th. Okay. Um, who, else, who else has keys to the apartment? Uh, like if uh, our vendor comes in or something, but they turn the keys in daily. Like Mark's Appliances or the Painters, Triple J, uh, paint company, but like I said, they return the keys daily. Okay. All right, do you have any, uh, do the managers have keys to all these apartments? Uh, yeah, they have a man, they have, each have a master. Okay. Um, is there a white male manager that works here? About your about your size, your build? Me, Wendy, and Avery. She's uh, also black, and then, uh, she's Red, silver, Chevy, Colorado, some type, type of Indian. Yeah, that's all that we have here. Okay. We usually don't enter an apartment unless it's an absolute emergency, a flood. We usually give out a 24-hour notice you know, on a intent. Okay. All right. All right, that'll work. Um, if I could, can I take one more look at your forearm? Yeah, I'm see your All right. That'll work, brother. Thank you for talking to me, man. All right, no problem. We did have some out here, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right, that's not a. That's not going to be who. Who I'm looking for, okay? Uh -huh. Um. So one of your tenants um, is saying that somebody trespassed into his apartment. Okay. Okay, he has a camera set up and I mean, he has a picture of somebody in there that's not supposed to be in there. Okay. It's gonna be a, uh, a white male, probably about my size, and on his forearm, he has a angel, he has a big cross mm -hmm. with angel wings. Is that ringing any bell? No, the other person that comes here to provide service is our exterminator. Person and he haven't been here since uh, Thursday last week. He only comes here every two weeks. Okay. So yeah, but Thursday. he haven't. He haven't. He was not. He haven't served building forty five yet. Okay. Yeah. So I had no idea. Okay. Do you have a number for him? So I have to talk to him. For the, the exterminator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, my manager and she's out today. Okay. Yeah. Um. So how would I get a hold of? to them um let me ask the manager for the um, to give you a little time if you could um, mm -hmm. i just need his uh name and phone number so that way i can give him a call have a conversation with him um i'm going to uh swing back over there and then i'll stop by before i okay. get out of here today did so they, give me like 10 did minutes did they show you the picture of the person mm -hmm. can they show it to us mm, i don't think he wants to he doesn't want to show it, so how are we going to be able to... <laughs> Me? That's what I'm here for. Uh, okay, but how we... Like, someone that we know, so someone that we have seen before, how are we going to be able to help you? 
Well, if you know anybody with that tattoo, call and let me know. Okay. Not it doesn't ring the bell to me right now. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you see anybody with that tattoo that worked for you or something like that. No. Um, then, uh, then give us a call and I'll, I'll come back out. Okay. Investigate. I mean, that's, that's the best information I got to go on right now. All right. Could you be able to give me your business yeah. card so I could be able to, to give you his information? Well, I'll swing back by here in about 10 minutes, but I'll still give you my card. Okay. And when did this happen? About two weeks ago. Oh. All right. There you go. Okay. Give, give me about 10 minutes. I'll come back and see if uh, you were able to get that name. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. So I just talked to him. He ain't got the tattoo. What well, the hell? What the hell? Who is it then? I don't know. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. What, just somebody picked my lock or something? I, I, well, that's I'm, crazy. Yeah. Um, does anybody else have keys to your apartment? No! No? You have a... I, I don't know. I'm just... I was just, I was just talking to my buddy. I said... Damn. I said, what do I do? Change my locks or what? But then yeah. they got still got keys, bro. Key. Yeah. yeah, because uh, I talked to the maintenance dude, and then apparently both of the uh, the managers who would also have keys are female. So that's not going to match up. Um, so who, who was it then? So I'm trying to figure out. Um, the last the last thing I'm looking into is uh, they said that they have an exterminate, exterminator come out every two weeks. Ooh. But she said, uh, the manager said that this building hasn't been, this building's still on the list to have the exterminator come out. That he hasn't been out to this building yet. So. But who the hell was it though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That is what I'm trying to figure out. You ain't got, that was the only, that was the best picture you got? Yeah. Okay. You ain't got no grandkids or anything like that? that no, nobody here. comes in here. Nobody. Mm -hmm. my, my, my kids don't even have a locker key. Okay. All right, well, then, then the only lead I got to follow up on is the exterminator. I'll, I'll talk to him and see. You got to find that guy that's got the tattoo. Yeah. Now, there was guys working over here, but they are, I don't know if they're gone or what, or what. Yeah. They I, gave them keys, but I don't, they shouldn't have given me my key. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see them, so. Did you tell them down here that I had a picture? Mm -mm. Good. So. So how they know what to, well, why well, you're here? Well, I told them I told them that you had a picture. Oh. But I didn't tell them that you had the picture. I just said that somebody said, you know, someone came into their apartment. So that way I didn't throw your your name into the ring. Um, so uh, I'll try to follow up with that uh, maintenance man whenever I get his information. I mean, if you find anything else out, give me a call because if that doesn't pan out, I'm gonna be at a dead end. Well, I want my I, I want my locks changed. See, they changed when that see when that happened before. I made them change a the lock, mm -hmm. and then it was all right for a while. Mm -hmm. So now here we go again. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get your uh, lock changed. Yeah, if you can, put your camera. I'm gonna buy a new camera. As soon as I get my my, my stimulus money. I, 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 I have a, one of them John Deere things. I, I like to get it hooked up and put it someplace. That does a real good picture. Yeah, so you got to do it like in a quarter so that way I can get, get a wide. I'm going to go buy another camera. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, this is, this, is getting, this is getting really high tech here now. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. Yep. All right, sir, we'll you see. can't trust nobody in your place. Open your place up. This is crazy. It is. Um, if you find anything else out, you have my card. Give me a call, okay? I will catch this guy. All right, sounds good, sir. Thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what. He better have him come in here when I'm here and opens that door. I'm going to shoot him. Well. I hate to say that. Well, if he does, call, call 911. Let I us, will. He'll be in here yeah, dead. Let, well, let us try to handle it first. Well. If 
I mean, I know you got, I know you got to defend yourself, but if you, if you see, okay, so now I'll, I'll give you this. If you see the guy with the tattoo walking around here or something like that, give us a call. We'll come out. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, just definitely. Yeah, we wanna, we wanna try to avoid shooting people. Well, so, I know, hey, I know you got the right if he opens yourself. my door, yeah. But if we can avoid it, then then if that's... he opens my door, all right, sounds good, sir. Just give us a call. I'm gonna tell you. You don't open my door with my door locked. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much, ma'am. Do you know Do you know the name of the company he works for? Enviro. Is that here in West Virginia or is it no, out of they, state? I think their main office is in PA. Okay. Harrisburg, somewhere there, yeah. Near Harrisburg? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That will work, ma'am. Um, if you notice any of your contractors, the part-time guys, or anything like that, come in and they get that tattoo. Uh, give me a uh, give me a call. That sure. Way I can figure out who who went into that gentleman's apartment. Okay. Okay. All right. All right thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. In the house, both teachers, we have two other smaller children in the house. She, she came to live with us full time. She was living 50 50 with both my husband and then her mom. Okay, she became physically um, violent towards her mom. She ended up getting kicked out of the house. A lot of the same stuff. Okay. We decided to take her in full time. I had kind of jumped in the way of this, yeah, a year ago. Okay, yeah. and then, well, I, my, you know, it's my little girl, but she needs help. Okay, what time? 
like what we what is she making comments? Well, it's a lot it's, of verbal comments, a lot of things like "fuck you," "you're a bunch of fucking pussies." But we're scared from that. Explain what's coming. Um, you're the reason I do all of this. Um, she recently um, started not eating, and so we were going to be giving her an evaluation anyway at the Shenandoah Community Health. Um, she attended um, therapy regularly. She had been medicated since she was seven years old for um, oppositional defiance disorder. Um, she came off the medication a little over a year ago. It was making her self harm. Yeah, she, she's been in the hospital before. Um, she, for drinking, she ended up in the hospital and taken in from her mom's house for um, almost OD on doctor. So it was just comments today then, or? Today it was uh, the yelling, the screaming, the, uh, she, they got physical here, but it was just to get her back get inside. Her back she was in. outside she was making a screaming. Scene. Like, you need to get yeah, in the like, house. So she didn't try to strike in. Uh, not really. Yeah, I mean, okay. she kind of came out, but it wasn't yeah, like, nothing, it was more verbal. We're not. Like, I've been, I think, not facing reality here. And, you guys being here is some reality. I mean, she has no like no respect for authority at all. Like we're and, and I don't, we don't get it. We've, we've been uh, what else can we do? Uh, literally, what else can we do? And she, I can't do anything. I, I'm not going to go to jail for, because I love my kid. You know, and I, I know that sounds weird, but I can't. We can't do things like that anymore. You can't discipline. You can't. So. That this is it. I mean, uh, she's completely lost respect for all households. It, it's just, and it's always our fault. Like tonight is about. She wanted to go to the gym. She just took track. She did track, and I was happy that she she finally got there. Cool. She was here for four months because of you know COVID and then quarantine and then they went remote and then she sat back here. It does nothing. Comes out frail. <laughs> you know, you can see her. Lost a lot of muscle over the year, and yeah. I was pumped that Chap was coming back. Took her the other day to get a gym membership, and I uh, was like, okay, well, we'll start doing this stuff. I just had a, uh, she wanted to go tonight, and I was like, no, no, I can't go tonight. I just had a picture of my son who fell into a chain link fence and shredded his face up. He's got like 60 some stitches in it. That just happened, and then this. So I was like, no, I just need a little tough, and she wouldn't have any. It was, and we had Ivy in there, so like four, we four have, in yeah. April. She's, She's got autism. severe autism. Every time she like is up, Ivy's like, it, it's, it's not limited to just us. We could probably, because only got little ones in here that we can't mitigate it, and she won't stop. I mean, she just keeps going, and we're like, please She's stop. 16, She's 16, correct? She's 16. So do you all want her to go to the hospital? And that's probably going to be with her mom. Yes. I, I want to get help. I, I, the, the kid in out there, you've been trying to see and pull out of there, and all this stuff gets sidetracked by okay. whatever happened, and it just consistently happens. Okay. And we haven't hit it right yet. We have, we've tried everything from this to that. I tried to go natural with her because I was like, look, I don't believe in all this, you know, stuff. Maybe we, we got, uh, you know, something that's making yourself harm doesn't sound like it. It's good. So then, I was like, "Well, let's get back on." And we did. We had a great year last year, right? Last school year was amazing. I took her out of Jefferson. Took her here. She got into ROTC, which she is in. We go to all the things, anything to like fill her life naturally with good stuff instead of this. But then, bam! This year happens. It got taken. You know. Let me go over here and see what they have. Thank <laughs> you.